Greece is carefully examining the possibility of acquiring additional Dassault Rafale F-4 fighter jets as part of a long-term effort to maintain air superiority in the Aegean region. The potential expansion of its Rafale fleet is a direct response to Turkey as advancing Eurofighter Typhoon negotiations, which include the integration of MBDA's Meteor Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile. This arms race between Athens and Ankara highlights how both NATO allies are investing heavily in new generation combat capabilities to assert dominance in one of the most contested airspaces in Europe. Athens has already made significant strides in modernizing its air force. Over the past few years, it has received 24 Rafale F-3R aircraft from France, with several already upgraded to the newer F-4 configuration. Now, Greek defense planners are reportedly evaluating an additional batch to reach the government's strategic target of roughly 200 advanced fighters by the mid-2030s. This figure would include the Rafale F-4, the modernized F-16V Viper, and the upcoming F-35A Lightning II. In doing so, Greece hopes to phase out its aging Mirage 2000-5 fleet and consolidate its combat capabilities into a highly interoperable, technologically unified force. The Rafale F-4 represents a substantial leap forward from previous variants. Its most defining feature lies in its sophisticated connectivity architecture, which includes the NATO Standard Link 16 Data Link and Dassault's proprietary intraflight data network. This combination enables secure, uninterrupted communication between aircraft, even under conditions of electronic interference. Such resilience is particularly valuable for the Hellenic Air Force, which must operate in an environment where electronic warfare and jamming are common. These enhancements allow pilots to share tactical data almost instantaneously, ensuring that targeting, threat recognition, and mission coordination remain fluid even during complex, multi-domain operations. Technologically, the Rafale F-4 sensor suite has been significantly upgraded. Its active electronically scanned array radar now boasts improved processing power and a wider range of detection functions, including the ability to track fast-moving ground targets at long distances. This feature transforms the aircraft from a pure air superiority platform into a versatile strike fighter capable of deep interdiction missions. Complementing the radar is a new generation infrared search and track system that allows passive detection of stealthy or low emission aircraft. This is a decisive advantage in modern warfare, where emission control is critical to surviving advanced radar networks. Another hallmark of the Rafale F-4 is the introduction of the Scorpion helmet-mounted display, which allows pilots to cue weapons simply by looking at a target, drastically reducing reaction time in dogfights or mixed air-to-ground scenarios. Meanwhile, the Enhanced Spectra Electronic Warfare Suite provides real-time threat detection and countermeasure deployment, increasing the pilot's survivability in dense threat environments. Combined, these technologies give the Rafale F-4 a formidable balance of awareness, protection, and precision, setting it apart as one of the most capable fourth-plus generation fighters in the world. Weapon integration has also advanced. The F-4 variant brings compatibility with the MICA new generation missile, available in both infrared and active radar-guided versions. This missile offers roughly 40% more range than earlier MICA models and can be fired in any direction thanks to its thrust vectoring design. When paired with the Rafale's radar and sensor systems, the MICA NG gives Greek pilots the ability to engage targets at greater distances and with higher kill probability, even against agile or evasive opponents. In the beyond visual range combat domain, such capabilities can determine the outcome of engagements long before opposing aircraft come into close contact. From a tactical standpoint, the Rafale F-4's integration into Greece's air command structure represents a step toward a more networked form of warfare. The aircraft can share targeting data with F-16V fighters and, in the future, the stealthy F-35A, creating a shared recognized maritime and air picture that fuses radar, optical, and electronic inputs into a single operational view. This fusion of data not only enhances situational awareness but also accelerates decision-making, allowing Greek commanders to anticipate enemy maneuvers and execute preemptive actions. 
The result is a qualitative edge that is less about individual aircraft performance and more about information dominance across the battle space. The decision to potentially acquire more Rafale F-4S also reflects broader industrial and geopolitical calculations. France has emerged as one of Greece's most reliable defense partners, supporting Athens through joint exercises, technology transfers, and industrial cooperation. The maintenance and support infrastructure for the Rafale has already been established at Tanagra Air Base, meaning any additional aircraft would integrate seamlessly into existing operations. Furthermore, local maintenance capabilities could expand under new offset agreements, allowing Greek technicians to deepen their expertise and reduce dependence on foreign contractors. At the same time, this expansion aligns with NATO's emphasis on interoperability. By operating a mix of Rafale F-4S, F-16 Versus, and F-35 AS, Greece ensures that its air fleet remains compatible with allied communication networks, cryptographic systems, and mission planning tools. This commonality reduces costs, simplifies logistics, and enhances joint operational efficiency, particularly in multinational exercises and missions in the Mediterranean and Black Sea regions. However, Greece's modernization push cannot be understood in isolation. Turkey's pursuit of the Eurofighter Typhoon, reportedly with British and Spanish backing, signals Ankara's intent to regain a high-end air combat capability after being excluded from the US F-35 program. The inclusion of the Meteor missile, capable of engaging targets at ranges exceeding 150 kilometers, would close much of the current capability gap between the Turkish and Greek air forces. Ankara is also investing in its indigenous fifth-generation fighter, the KAN, which is expected to enter service in the 2030s. These developments add urgency to Athens' deliberations, as air balance in the Aegean could shift rapidly over the next decade. In the geopolitical context, both Greece and Turkey are navigating a delicate balance. While both remain NATO members, their competing territorial claims and frequent airspace violations over the Aegean continue to create friction within the alliance. The ongoing military buildup on both sides raises concerns in Brussels and Washington about escalation risks. Yet, from Athens' perspective, bolstering air power is not an act of aggression but a necessity born of geography and history. Maintaining a deterrent capability, supported by advanced Western technology, is viewed as essential to national sovereignty and stability in the Eastern Mediterranean. Ultimately, the question of whether Greece will move forward with a second Rafale order will depend on budgetary and scheduling considerations. Dassault Aviation's production slots are heavily booked due to ongoing exports to several countries, meaning Greece must act swiftly to secure timely deliveries. If approved, the New Deal could strengthen Athens' defense industrial ties with France and further cement the Rafale as the backbone of Greek air power for decades to come. In sum, the potential expansion of Greece's Rafale F-4 fleet represents much more than a procurement decision. It is a strategic maneuver aimed at preserving national security, ensuring NATO interoperability, and maintaining a technological edge over a dynamic and capable regional rival. In a region where air power remains the ultimate instrument of deterrence and prestige, Greece's choice could very well shape the aerial balance of the eastern Mediterranean through the 2030s and beyond.